I'm Chris Smith. I'm coming to you from Cackley Elementary, and this is my amazing kindergarten class. And today, along with the amazing Mrs. Anderson, we are going to be doing our STEAM lesson about the duck nest challenge. So today is day two of the process. What did we do yesterday? Who can remind me what did we do yesterday? Um, we we um, um, took pencils and created it what our made a model of what our our um this would look like. You are absolutely right. We imagine what a duck nest could look like. You sat with your partner and created a plan. What we're going to do today is the next step of the process. We are going to create that model. Bring your plan to life. So our challenge for today, let's refresh our brains, was to create a protected nest for eight duck eggs so that they can survive in nature. Our research yesterday, we learned that ducks can have between eight to 13 eggs at a time. So we're going to see if we can make a nest big enough for eight eggs. <laughs> yes. Does each group have one of those boxes? Yes, you all have all of the supplies, like the greenery, your pipe cleaners, your popsicle sticks to act like sticks out in nature. And then we have that soft material. Remember, we, we learned that the ducks pull their own little feathers to create a soft area for those eggs. So we have some things inside the box that you'll be able to use greenery, sticks, and soft things. One more question, Arjun. So what if like, we run out of cotton, but we need like, more cotton? Mm, well, what is in your box? is what you have. So you'll have to think about a way to be creative and you and your partner can solve that problem together, okay? But before we go back to our seats, I want to give you a minute to re-look at your plan with your partner and see, last night I gave you some thinking homework. What else could we do to improve the plan you've got to really make it protected? and big enough for those eight eggs. All right, so Mrs. Anderson, can you pass out some of those? And we will, Navia and Abigail, Hayden and Ella. Wow, you're all sitting, oh, you can stay right where you are. I want you to now, you're hip to hip, but I'd like you to turn knee to knee. Face your buddy. And I want you to just refresh your brain where you left off yesterday, okay? We'll give you one minute. Talk about your plan. What was that question? Did you say, what was the sturdy? No, that's the tree. Oh, so you've got the protected feature. Oh. You'll have to see what's in your box. When they get bigger, they can get back when they don't have to be You're right, you're right. Okay. Holy moly. Guacamole. All right. Remember, as you make your way back to your seat, the two things you need to think about, plug it into your brain. We need to create a protected nest big enough for eight eggs. We want those eight eggs to survive in nature. So protected and big enough for eight eggs, all right? Now we have been doing lots of STEAM challenges all year long with Mrs. Anderson. So today we're gonna add an extra challenge. I think they're ready. 
I do too. I, we have full confidence that you are going to build that protected nest for eight eggs in 10 minutes. <gasps> Ooh, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let me get the timer ready. Ooh, where am I timer now, Mrs. Smith? Oh, there, Mrs. Smith found it quick. Okay, 10 minutes. Will you please walk to your area? Tape is not a supply. No tape, no glue. Just what you have. Ducks don't have tape or glue. You don't need that. You can put it back. No tape, no glue. Let's Good job, girls. Let's move this out of the way. You have all the supplies you get are in there. You do not need glue for that. Mm-hmm. You can use your scissors if you need to rip anything or cut anything. And look at your plan. There you go. Okay, I like that you have your plan in front of you. What part are you working on? I'm working on that part. Okay, what's going to be your base? We're, we're, we're making like a thing so like we can open it up and the and duckling eggs will be right here but we're gonna put like little feathers on it. Oh, so soft, good. And this will be the protection? Yes, like whatever, like so the then whatever, we the leave, whatever we leave them, we'll just like close it up. Okay, so, I like where your head's at. Keep working. Soft. And then these are the Easter eggs we got packed if they can all fit. Right. So how are we going to bring this plan with these tools you have? How are we going to make the model of your plan? We can use the green paper to make it one side here, other side here, and one side here. Then you can maybe use this one on top of this and then we can maybe use some popsicle sticks and tie it up. Wonderful. What do you think? Yeah? Is that what you two created yesterday? Yes. All right, let's see it. You've got about seven minutes left, so okay. scurry along. Oh, yeah. No, no, we cannot do it. But we need one of the boxes. You can put it in this. This could be your box. Here. You decide. This is a tool, too. Yes. Yes. The group back here just asked, can they use their box as a tool? What do you think? Yes. Do you all agree we could use our box as a part of our tool? Yes. All right, I agree. Right here, actually, yeah, we can do the leaves. Okay, hold on. So we can do this. Some of the nests were in like a pipe. Like the pipes in there, what we can do is create a plan. Okay, you can bump these out of the way. Now, how can you use the steps? Right. Right. So and there. Around it. Okay. And then we can is, cut are you going to put it in the box or are you going to leave it right there? We're going to add these. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we add some eggs more. So remember, the challenge was to make it protected and yeah, to make it big enough for eight eggs. Yes, so you've got to fit. Sure, yeah, do it. Oh, look at you. Tell me about this. What's your bad face? I need one. Any color. I'll do it too. So the eggs don't. We 
protected within the nest. Yeah. All right, Hayden, tell me about what you're working on. What's your part here? I'm working on the No. Okay. So we have protection. What was the other part of the challenge? We needed it to be protected. Look up at the board. Protected and? And now spread everything And what? Protected. And? Big enough for, look here, Hayden. Eight eggs, you're right. What am I doing? Let's see. You empty the bucket first. Then we'll put the popsicle sticks here for the floor. Oh, wow. Then we can put the popsicle sticks. What's happening? It's changed so much since I walked away. Ducks can't go to the stick of the green stone. That is crazy. Now you've got a lot more tools and about three more minutes. What else I know. could you do? Just take How it could out you use right more now. of these tools? What do you think, Abigail? Mm -hmm. okay. Now remember, what were the two parts of the challenge? To have it be protected. And how many eggs need to be in the nest? Eight. Okay, check to see how you're doing on that step. Okay. Well, let's see. Maybe your partner has an idea. Could you ask your partner? He what? Yes. Oh, wow, you used all your supplies. So tell me. Oh, girls. Is your nest protected? Yeah. Do you have all eight eggs? Wonderful job. I'm proud of you. So there are about two minutes left. So if there's anything else you want to add, you still got two. You did, but the paper's there too if you want to think of a way of how you can use that in those two final minutes. Oh, I heard it. Oh, it's right here. All right, where's your nest? You're trying. It is a challenge. So you've got to work together to think, how can you make this come to life? All right, boys and girls. Macaroni cheese. Hands up in the air. If your nest is in your hands, put it back down on the table. Make your way over to the carpet. Time is up. Safely find your carpet spot. We covered them up. Oh, so Ella, time is up. We, we actually did all this stuff. Let's talk about it. Come and have a seat. All right. So, we've imagined, we've planned, and we have now created some nests. Okay, but we need to go on to the next part of our process. We want to think about, is there any way we could make improvements or adjustments to our plan? So before we do that, I want to look at thinking about your nest. Are your eggs going to stay safe in your nest? Yes. Give me a thumbs up if you think your nests are safe for those eggs. Good, hands down. How about the other part of the challenge was to fit eight eggs? Thumbs up if you got all eight eggs in your nest. Okay. All right, hands down. I want you to 
knee to knee with your partner. Some of you are already right next to each other. If you're not, scooch and move. Think about if you had more time, if you had more time, how could you improve your nest? What else could you add? How could you change? Let's think about that. Talk with your partner. If I gave you bonus time, what else would you do? Go ahead and check. You've got about 30 seconds. So what would you two do? What would you do? Do you have an idea? No, think about it. How could you make that a safe night? What else would you need to build and finish building your nest? I'll come back and check in a second. What did you say? How would you improve it? We forgot to make a couple of Oh, I like that thinking. And we made blankets out of paper. Seven, six, seven, eight, 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 all right. Now, boys and girls, I am going to give you an opportunity. Along with Mrs. Anderson, we're going to take a gallery walk. And I love what we've done in the past with gallery walk. You have your hands behind your back. We don't want to touch anybody's nest. But I want you to go through and take a gallery walk of, stay seated yet. Oh, 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 oh. sit, sit, sit and look at all the different nests. Are there any ideas that you see from another team that you could use to improve your nest? So if you would put your hands behind your back, Mrs. Anderson, would you be mother duck? Oh, yes. And all of you are gonna be ducklings following Mrs. Anderson to take a gallery walk at all the nests. It's okay for today, you can go right here, yep. All right, thank you so much for joining our classroom today. I hope you enjoyed our STEAM lesson in kindergarten. Have a great day. All right, waddle, waddle, waddle. What do you see? I'm gonna push this chair in for safety. What do you see? How could you use some of those ideas to improve your nest?